Hey, in this video, we are dividing decimals. My learning target is I can multiply and divide positive decimals. All right, the steps to, before we go over the steps to divide decimals, it's important that we know how to write these division problems. So most of the time you will see it written this way. And it's important to know that the dividend, the number that's being divided goes in the inside of this little house if you're going to divide this way. Your divisor, the second number, is going to go on the outside. And then quotient is your answer. So sometimes it's written like this. And then if it's written as a fraction, your dividend's on the top, your divisor's on the bottom, and your quotient is the answer. All right, so our steps to solve dividing decimal. You are going to convert the divisor into a whole number. So I'm going to rewrite this right here. So I'm going to convert this to a whole number by moving the decimal. So then you are going to multiply the dividend by the same power of 10. Basically, whatever you do to one number, you must do to the other number for the answer to be the same. So if I move the decimal over twice on the divisor, I need to move it over twice in the dividend. So if I rewrote this, it would be 5 divided by 225. All right, so you your decimal is right here. So in your quotient, after you divide, you will bring the decimal straight up. So 5 cannot go into 2. It goes into 22 four times. 5 times 4 is 20. Bring that 5 down. 5 goes into 25 five times. If I bring that decimal up, my answer is 45. So you would bring the decimal straight up from the dividend into the quotient. All right, let's do number one, 1.20 divided by 0 0.5. So I'm going to put the divisor on the outside, the dividend inside the house. Move the decimal point over once, so i got to do that to the dividend. So now I have 5 on the outside and 12. 5 cannot go into 1, it can go into 12 two times, which is 10. 5 goes into 20 four times. And we bring that decimal point directly up. So my answer is 2.4. All right, number two, a division problem can be written like this. You may see this. So we have six is the divisor. The dividend is 1.224. The divisor is not a decimal, so I'm not going to convert it to a whole number. It already is a whole number. So I'm going to bring that decimal straight up. Six cannot go into one. It goes into 12 two times. It cannot go into 2. It goes into 24 four times. So my answer is 0 0.204. All right, number 3. My Divisor is 0 0.5. My dividend is 5.25. I move my decimal once. So I have 5 on the outside and then 52.5. You can move the decimal up at first. You don't have to wait till the end. 5 goes into 5 once. 
five goes into two zero times, five goes into 25, five times. So my answer is 10.5. All right, number four, 0 0.48 divided by 0 0.112. So 0 0.112 is the divisor. Move my decimal point twice. Twelve can't go into four, it goes into 48 four times. So my answer is four. All right, number five. My decimal twice, move it twice here. So I have nine as my divisor and 8.1 is my dividend. Nine cannot go into eight. It goes into 81 nine times. So my answer is 0 0.9. Number six, 25 is my divisor, 6.75 is my dividend. 25 is a whole number, so I'm not going to change that. 25 does not go into 6, it goes into 67. I think about 2 quarters is 50 cents, so 2 times. Goes into 175 7 times. So my answer is 0 0.27. All right, number seven, 8.62 divided by four. My divisor is a whole number, so I will keep it there. Eight, or four goes into eight two times. Four goes into six once. Four goes into 22 five times. Then I'm gonna add a zero because adding that zero doesn't really change the value of the number. And four goes into 25 times. So my answer is 2.155. All right, number eight, 5.45 divided by five. Five goes into five once. Five cannot go into four. And then five goes into 45 nine times. So my answer is 1.09. All right, we are gonna do a couple of word problems. So it says, Logan is planning a road trip with his family to Lake Charles. They will be driving a total distance of 260.5 miles, and they want to equally divide the distance into five days of driving. How many miles will they travel each day? So we know we're doing division because it says equally divide the distance into five days. So we are doing 260.5 divided by five. If 
five goes into, it cannot go into two, it goes into 26 five times. Goes into 10 two times. And it goes into five once. So we would be driving 52.1 miles per day. Number 10, Megan's new hobby is in the summer. Sorry, I need to fix that, in the summer. is making her own smoothie. She wants to make a large batch of special kiwi of a special kiwi smoothie for her friend's birthday party. The recipe calls for 6.5 cups of kiwi puree, and Megan wants to make enough smoothies to serve 13 of her friends. How much kiwi puree should she use for each serving? So we have 6.5 divided by 13 cannot go into 6 it's 13 let's try 5 perfect so 0 0.5 cups of puree per serving. 